Okay, I I think all of us remember this. Um, on Tuesday, I said this. Hypo hypothesis testing is about using a sample statistic to arrive at a decision about the statement. The, dis the statement is that the delivery time, mean delivery time is 30 minutes. What is a sample statistic? On nine occasions, sample mean is 38.2. Then you remember when I, before we enter, we asked it? 38.2, quite much bigger than 30. Therefore, we say, okay, sample mean is, that means lousy, lah, the delivery very lousy, lah, I think more than 30 minutes. Then I asked this question, right? I don't know whether you remember. How big is big? All right, what if it's 36? What conclusion will you make? 35, what conclusion will we make, etc., etc. So I said uh, we needed to be a bit more systematic, we needed to be a bit more scientific. Okay, quick answer. So we need to make a decision. So I write, uh. again, I say you want to copy, you can copy. Don't want to copy, also can, because actually the gist is in the notes. We need to make a decision. Is the mean delivery time 30 minutes using what using this using this this is x1 plus x2 all the way to x9 this is a sample that means you do it nine times using this one to make a decision this decision is the mean really 30. my quick answer is this let's Let's do this. The answer, uh, let, now the answer comes here already. Uh. Answer. To be more scientific, what, what can we say? We say, if, if the statement is true, and assume that X, where X minutes is the pizza, pizza, not pizza, pizza delivery time. We assume X is normally distributed, which probably is not that bad uh, assumption. with standard deviation 9 minutes. Now, this is big assumption. I think the normally distributed one is not so bad because it is a continuous random variable. It can be 31.8 minutes, 31.8, 5 minutes, etc. It's normally distributed. Now, this standard deviation 9 minutes, just accept it for now. Let's say that all due to past data, we know, okay, roughly, it will have some standard deviation. Now, if x is really normally distributed and the standard deviation is 9 minutes we can safely say that x bar yeah let's make a distinction okay x is x uh, x is the mean yes sorry x is the delivery time x bar is the distribution of x1 plus x2 all the x9 divided by 9. what i'm saying remember from the previous chapter x bar which is x1 plus x2 all the way to x9 divided by 9 should follow a normal distribution and I say if the statement is true if statement is true means the mean is indeed 30 yeah. correct? so the mean is 30 the variance is 9 square over 9 recall, uh, recall this is sigma square over n remember? Previous chapter, steps for previous chapter. There we go. Why do I go and do this? Reason is very simple. If I know the distribution of x bar, and I found that the sample mean by doing eight, sorry, nine times, I, I order with pizza nine times, I found this data 38.2. I can specifically calculate. probability x bar greater or equal to 38.2. Am I 
Am I right? Are we able to talk say that? Yes, because you know that this is a distribution. If x 30, 38.2. You are able to calculate this probability, this area. Follow so far? Yes, this one you can calculate. Now I calculate for you. Lah. Oh, this, in fact, it's in the notes. It will be 0 0.00313. Okay, here comes the, the, the most important part. Look. Let's, let's focus. Huh? If the statement is true, that means if the mean is indeed 30, if the mean is indeed 30, the probability of getting a result of as extreme as 38.2, which you really got, is 0 0.00312, which is considered small. Where is that? Correct? Where is that? So now I can conclude, I conclude that since this probability is small, Therefore, my initial assumption that mean is 30 is not true. Follow what I'm saying? Because it's such a rare event, right? Correct? Follow the logic. One more time, one more time. If mean is mid 30, then to get here are so rare, how can it be? So we say it cannot be. Therefore, mean is not 30, mean is maybe 36, mean is 35, then that's why you get 38.2. Follow what I'm saying? Follow? This is so bad. That's my conclusion. You all think about my, my conclusion and see whether it makes sense or not, okay? I say... So, I, I say this, ah. Uh. Possible conclusion. Not a definitive conclusion. I'll explain why later. Possible conclusion, the statement is false. I say possible because even though I can be scientific and say, okay, this is a rare event, this is probably, probability is small, but then you ask me how small is small. But it's, it's back to the same problem. I say, how far away is the day point two from 30 so that we can make this decision, correct? Then we go back to the same thing again. We say, if probably, yes, okay, you are a bit more specific now. You say that this is a rare event. 0 0.003. Then what about 0 0.004? Rare or not? 0 0.05? Rare or not? 0 0.04? Rare or not? 0 0.1? Rare or not? You can carry on and ask yourself this question. Don't worry. We will elaborate more. Okay, but keep this in mind. We need to ask ourselves. This one. How small is small? Correct? We need to ask ourselves how small is small such that we can reject this statement? How big is big such that we can say, oh, okay, maybe how, how close to this such that the area is big enough that we can say it means it's okay, not bad, 30. Let's follow so far. All good? Okay, okay. That's, that's the main thing about the, the, the intro. Okay? Okay, now what I have said is all 7.1, okay? 7.1, okay, all here, all same. Blah, 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 okay? So now we're going into 7.2.1. Again, I don't want to refer to notes because it's very worthy. I would suggest that you go back and read on your own. But if you really can understand what I'm talking about, don't read also can, ah. Huh? So now I'm going to, when I write, uh, I'm going to make reference. I'm going to say this. Next part, I'm going to talk about 7.2.1 and 7.2.2. Okay? Now, now we go to the same problem. X minute is the pizza delivery time. Okay, this one, clear cut. Now, next I'm going to define this. Mu 
is the population mean of x. Which all along we wanted to test what is mu. Is mu 30 or not? Correct? We want to make a decision about mu, which we will it's virtually impossible to find out. But we want to make some by testing, we want to make some statement about mu, whether it's 30 with some confidence. <coughs> So in hypothesis testing, the, 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 the thing is we need to say, okay, the default statement. Default statement means this lah. I'll explain later. Mu is 30. Okay, the default statement is mu is 30. I want to test whether it's indeed 30. I will say the alternative to statement. Is mu greater than 30. Now, I will explain a little bit more about why I say 30 greater than 30. Look, in pizza delivery, I'm interested in whether the mu is 30 or the mu is bigger than 30. Because if it's bigger than 30, it's a service is lousy. Then I can say, oh, damn lousy, I don't want to know what it's In this context, I'm not interested whether it is Actually, lesser than 30. If it's lesser than 30, it's where I'm going. It's fine. I mean, it's good to serve. It's fine. But I want to prove that with some confidence that either it's greater than 30 or it's equal to 30. If it's greater than 30, then I can dismiss it and say, oh, I'm not going to patronize that. This is my context. It depends on the context. Follow? It depends on what you want to do. So, at the end of the day, after you make all these things, the decision is either this or this. Okay? Just now we talk about this diagram, right? Um, we need to. So now the question just now was: we need, we still need to decide on a decision making rule. <clears throat> now remember, I said just now. See, this is if x. Sorry, if mu is indeed 30, then does it make sense that x bar should follow a normal distribution with 30? Correct, if mu is 30, population mean is 30, x bar, which is x1 plus x2 order with your x9, remember? In our context, we took 9 deliveries, right? Divide by 9, should follow the same mean. And I said just now, assume that standard deviation of the population was 9, okay. now you get 30. Follow so far. Okay, look ah. Uh. Just now we said, oh okay. How small is small? Correct? We say this probability we test, 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 we got 38.2, 38.2, then the probability of getting as extreme as 38.2 is 0 0.0313. How small is small? Okay, I tell you first. Okay, this rule is you have to decide. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. If in real life you got to decide on your own, that means how how small is more that you are prepared to accept. Then you do it, decide it before you conduct an experiment. After you conduct an experiment, then you just make just, just make a choice, make, just make a decision based on this decision making threshold. I give you an example. Beforehand, before you do the pizza delivery experiment, correct data, you say, okay, I can wait accept. 0.05. Anything, any probability less than 0 0.05 is considered rare in them. Then, after you collect data from here, you got 38.2, then you get probability so small. Then you can say with confidence that look, this one too small. Smaller than 0 0.05, therefore, ha, pizza delivery lousy, greater than 30. Right. Then you see, how do I decide how to say? Right, never mind, I'll discuss later. But truth of the matter is, you will decide on each how whether it's 0 0.05 or 0 0.06 or 0 0.07. And then we talk about exam, exam. An exam won't ask you to decide. Let's put it this way. They will tell you. They will tell you 10%, 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.
for easy marking. Everybody must have the same, same decision. Okay, so I'm going to say this. First, we decide on, say we decide on 5%. So we say, okay, we must, we decide. We will, this is your decision making threshold. Now, I, I put inverted commas because this is what I use in layman language. Later, I'll introduce the terminology. What I mean is this, anything, if I get my data here, then I say, oh, okay, it's not so bad. It, 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 I, I will get close to 30. Then, okay, then I say mean is 30. Now, if I get something extreme here, then cannot lah. Then I say mean is greater than 30. So far, so good. This is decided by the person who conducts the test. So, I don't think it's difficult if I decide on this one. Ah, this is, in this case, just as an example. Ah. If we decide on 5%, then are we able to find out this number? Are we or are we not? Can right? Are we able to? Because you know the distribution, you inverse norm. Let's do very quickly. Ah. Where's my calculator? Gone. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. But you know, you know, okay? You, you inverse norm. Okay, some, you quickly do, quickly do. Inverse norm 0 0.95, mean is 30. Uh, variance or other standard deviation is 3. Alright, so you do this. Ah. 0 0.95, da, 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 da. I think it is 34.2. Alright, 0.9, ah. 0.9, yeah, yeah, 0 0.9. 0 0.9, okay, 0 0.9. So now we are very happy. Now we are very scientific now. The rule is this. The rule is this. Yay! We have a rule. If our x bar, which is you collect data, that means out of nine occasions, remember, smaller than the four point nine. Correct. That, that means if it's smaller than the four, that means it lies here. Then we say, oh, okay, can we can therefore say that the default statement is true. Okay. Then we say default statement is true. But then if we say all x bar, like what we did just now, was greater or equals to 34.9. Like just now, right? Like just now we saw hey, hey, here. This one. Your x bar was 38.2. Here, very rare. It's away from your decision making number. Then we say default statement is not true. Which actually means that the alternative statement is true, la, which is this one. La. Follow so far. Okay. Now, notice I talked all this. Uh, I didn't introduce any um, official, uh, commonly known terminology. Now, I'm going to introduce the terminology on top of all this. La. Okay. In hypothesis testing, I'm going to write in... What color should I use? Uh, Purple. Purple can. Use a thicker pen. Okay. Okay, I'm going to introduce the proper terminology. Huh? Default statement is what we call H naught. So normally when we do questions, we will not write default statement so long. Just say H naught. Huh? Alternative statement, we say H1. Now, this decision making rule, this 5%. I say again, it's decided by the person conducting the test. This decision-making rule, we call it level of significance. In this case, it is 5%. It means you are saying, oh, I only can accept 5%. Anything smaller than 5% consider a rare event. Therefore, I reject my Follow what I'm saying. That's all. This, oh sorry. This 
is what we call the acceptance region. That means this is the acceptance region. Uh. Acceptance region. <coughs> this is what we call the rejection region. That means you reject his stock. This is the rejection region. No. Hey, you ask me. Um, okay, no. That's, that's all. That's all for 7.1.1, 7.2.1, and 7.2.2. So, what's good? Okay, understand. Okay, done. I'm done with. Sorry. Here, all the way. Da da di da da di da di da da di da 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 so, I want to take a break. We see something different. Hey, okay, we see something different now. We see something different. I, I like this video. I, I show you, I show you. Some, some of you watch my YouTube video and say, hey, your son very cute. Hey, you better stop recording. <laughs>